So you need to schedule a meeting and find a common date for everyone. A great little web 2.0 tool is doodle.com. So go ahead and go to doodle.com and you know what? You don't need registration. You don't need to create an account or anything. Just click on schedule an event. Okay, once this pops up, you give a title to your event and you can put in location or any other information. Put in a description. Put in your name. Your email address. Your email address is just used to send you the link so that you can re review your poll. They don't save your email address and it doesn't create an account. So after you click next, you'll be given a calendar and you're going to pick the dates that you want to set some times on. You can pick as many as you like, then click next and then what times on these dates are you available? Notice that you can copy and paste the first row and it will fill them all the way in. So if most of them are all the same, that's a fast way to do it. And then if there are a few changes, you can make them from here. Notice you could always go back and add further time slots if you want. Then click Next. Notice you can also enable time zone support. And this is Denver time change. If you need to change it to something else, you can. I'm going to click Next. And I always go underneath Settings and make it a yes, no, if need be poll. That way, if there's a date that people really don't like, but if they have to, to to work with other people, I like to give that option instead of just a yes or a no. You have these other different things too, um, but for the most part, I don't use any of those. Click Next, and you'll notice that it says, I'm going to send the invitation by email. I say Finish. And I am given two links here. This link is what I send to other people. And this is the link that I use to change my poll or take a look at other things. So I'm going to highlight this and I would copy and paste that and send it into an email for everybody. This is what it's going to look like when they click on this. They're going to see my poll. Right here is my poll. Notice that it said it's bigger than usual. Click show all 12 options and people can click these if it's yes, no, or if need be. And they put their name in here so you know whose it is. Then they click save and their response is saved and you'll be able to see this and it will add up all the different ones and show you which is the best option for your event. So when I'm done, I'm going to get this page that says thanks for submitting and I can return to the poll. And when I return to the poll, I can scroll down and I'll see how many people have responded. I'm going to show all my options and it will add them up at the bottom and anything in bold you'll see are good selections. These other ones that are lighter don't have very many people who can make it at that time. I'll also notice that in my email Whenever someone answers my poll, I will get that there's new activity in my poll and I can quickly go to my link just by clicking on the go to poll. Then I know when people have answered. So I hope that helps you use Doodle.